the edge this morning. Um, I'm going to do a little tour around some of my patch so you can see the inspiration for some of the work that I do. Um, I'll just show you where we are. Here we go. There we go. And if we zoom in, you should be able to see a little bit more mass there in the distance. And then down at the bottom there, you can see we've got the M1 going south towards Barnsley. And over in the distance there, we've got Peniston. A lot of noisy cars passing by, sorry about that. Hello, I've got some of my friendly. Local Heel and Coos here. We're on the south side of the Yorkshire Sculpture Park and they often come up and meet you if you if you're wandering up this way, the top end of the park. Driven up to an area just above a little place called Inga Birchworth, and there's the reservoir down there. And if you just go to the right, you'll see we've now still got the Emily Moor mast on the horizon. It's a dominant, it's a dominant thing all the way around when you drive around the landscape round here. Um, and another thing, we're, we're just north of Penniston, and um, if we zoom round. You'll see another feature up here is there are lots of windmills where we've got wind farms. It's um, it's quite a popular area. We're up on the tops, so quite dominant in the area of the wind farms. So we're going to have a ride along here, and we're going to hit some of the roads which I call the lanes. And that, this is where some of the um, images I made which featured some of the lanes along here. There's Inga Birchworth again. Right, we're at the Roydmore viewpoint, uh, right at the top of the hill. It's a bit windy up here, cold. A lot of these lanes are called things like slack and grime and Strange names that obviously mean something um, because of the obviously what they were used for. So I find it quite interesting to wander along these lanes. It's, it's a very much a working area. Um, just little farms dotted about. Starting to see some lambs in the field now. It's that time of year, and um, it's a bit cold up here at the moment. But on a sunny day, it's, uh, the views are, are absolutely fantastic. So we'll carry on, off we go, bye! Here's a view of one of the lanes that just crisscrossed the moor up here. You can... <laughs> friendly sheep there. <laughs> um, you can see here they just just crisscross over the moor, looking over there towards Home Firth and Home Moss, over in the distance. Nice views. Hello. You're making a bit of noise a minute ago. What's wrong with you? Oh, oh, they're coming. Hello. Hello. They'll stamp the feet soon. Come on. Curious sheep. I'll often stop here. It's um, not quite sure where, where it is. Um, I just find myself on this lovely lane because it's often got some 
lots of flocks of birds ready to swoop up in the air so I'll come over here sometimes and sit and this field here in front um, it's often got skylarks in it so I'll spend a bit of time just sitting and listening to the skylarks and you can see just if we zoom in across the top over there there's one of the little lanes that goes up up there that, we're going to go up that way we've got the birds in the skylarks today though small trees you can just see them on the horizon there and we're going to ride up to Emily they're just at the side of the Emily mast we'd come over here you can see um, now I've been trying to photograph these trees for ages I can't get close enough to them to get a decent photograph um, but we're going to drive up past the Emily mast and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them when I get up there now you can see here I'm at the location for my three trees image and you might notice that I haven't actually got three trees the other one is lower down on the horizon and I can only take this because there happens to be the demolished uh, farmhouse so it's the first time I've been able to see them um, all of this stuff wasn't in the front when I took the picture fortunately but I was able to zoom in and so what I did was when you, if you have a look when you have a look at the image you'll see that three trees from here are actually two trees and we zoom back out again you see that's the location and I've got the Emily Moore mast here as ever on the horizon everywhere you look round here and that's the location of the three trees image and for that one instead of getting because I only have two trees I made a double exposure and you will see when I show you the image the one of the original images and also the finished image the three trees at Emily thank you of the pie fame, Denbydale Pie and a little village called Shelley and you see here the trees I've got here featuring one of the images I've created now I visited these um, a couple of weeks ago they didn't stand out really they don't stand out they stand out in the snow though and when I visited we had a beautiful hoar frost and I took some pictures of them background you can see I'm not quite sure where that is over there I'll have to look it up and, and let you know but there's the inspiration for the images that I did and you'll see that coming up soon 